you might recognize her face as she's been part of the Jubilant Sisterhood from the beginning, um, but we've never sat down and talked to her. Um, so I'm Alice, the social media manager for Jubilance, and I'm talking today with Jacqueline Giraldo. She's a Colombian model in New York City, and we're talking to her about her life and living in Brooklyn. Um, so welcome, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Alice. <laughs> Um, so I want to start with some more fun questions. So sneakers or heels? Definitely sneakers. I love being comfortable and also um, if I could go to the club wearing sneakers, I definitely would. <laughs> Amazing. That sounds great. Uh, especially for right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, chocolate or cheese? I have a weakness for both of those things, but I'm more sweet, so definitely chocolate. Okay, amazing. Um, lip gloss or lipstick? Um, probably lipstick, just because you can get like a variety of colors in lipstick, so lipstick for sure. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, Joker from The Dark Knight Rises or The Joker by Joaquin Phoenix? Um... Those, they both did an incredible job, um, and I kind of have a thing for macabre, like dark, dark things, so I don't know. Um, I guess I will say Joker, um, played by Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> and can you talk about where you're living now? Yeah, so I live in, um, Brooklyn. I, I love it. Um, I mean, like, from... Where I was before, I used to live in Connecticut. Um, I lived in Connecticut most of my life with my parents. And then I decided to move out to Brooklyn and I'm really glad I did. Um, there's just like so much more here. There's a lot more diversity. Um, like where I was, it was just kind of like more of like white demographic. <laughs> so there was, and there also it was just like a very, 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 very small town. So there wasn't really a lot going on and I just, I don't know, I always kept like wanting to look for more and um, I just always loved being on camera. So I figured why not just move to New York? Amazing. And yeah. what's your favorite part about living in Brooklyn? I mean, it definitely isn't the city, which is kind of nice because it's, you know, like going into New York City, like it's just like, you know, it's louder. There's, you know, a lot more traffic there. But I mean, I also love that about New York City, but living in Brooklyn, I just kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, there's different neighborhoods. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, there's just kind of like that variety. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I wish I had thought about this more, but um, it's just, I don't know. There's just so many different neighborhoods in Brooklyn and there's just different parts of it. And there's, I don't know. I just, I love it here. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, do you have a favorite restaurant in your area of Brooklyn for when we're allowed to go to them again? Yeah, um, I mean, that's honestly kind of hard to answer just because there's, like, literally there's too many restaurants. Not that I'm complaining, but it's just so hard to pick from, like, say, like, you know, oh, I love this restaurant for its pizza or, like, its burgers or Mediterranean food or Caribbean food. Like, that's just really hard. And I'm a humongous foodie. So that's really hard to just pick one restaurant. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, can you talk me through the step-by-step -step process of becoming a model, deciding to go for that, and um, what you're up to now? Yeah, so um, there wasn't ever really like a step-by-step -step process, I guess. I just kind of um, fell into it. Um, when, I mean, when I was little, my, I, it was probably my idea. Uh, my parents put me through a, a modeling school, and I remember we did, like, our first runway, and it just kind of clicked for me, and I wasn't nervous at all, which is very interesting, because usually when I have to, like, I guess kind of, like, talk to, like, a group of people, or, like, even when I do castings and auditions in front of, like, you know, a table of people who are, like, you know, kind of, I guess, like, judging me. I get really nervous doing that, but when I, you know, when I'm on camera or when I'm doing photo shoots, things like that, or just like on runway, I don't get nervous at all. Like I just kind of click into like being this other person, I guess, oh. and I do my thing. But 
Um, yeah, so I did that. I started off doing um, a modeling school when I was very little. And then I found out about this website called Model Mayhem. Um, I'm sure a lot of models have heard about it. And um, also photographers as well. So it's just kind of like a website like where you can, you know, meet with other people. Like, you know, they post like some small gigs through there and you can just network. So I started off doing that. And then my network just kind of started getting bigger and bigger while I was um, living in Connecticut. And then um, I started doing a little bit more work in Boston. And then there wasn't really a whole lot going on there because obviously it's a smaller market. So then I saved up uh, quite a bit of money and then I was kind of like, I definitely need to move to the city. And then I didn't know anybody here. Like I literally moved here on my own. Wow. And then, yeah, so I don't know. It, the first two weeks was really awful, like being here by myself. Like I, I cried a lot, <laughs> honestly. Oh, yeah. But then, um, I don't know, like I just started meeting people. Um, and I don't know why New York gets a bad rep for being like the rudest city. I think if anything, we're just really crazy, but we're not really that rude. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, I mean, I think anywhere you go, like people can be rude, but um, I don't know, people have been really great to me here. And then like sometimes like, like little things like have happened, like, I don't know, like my backpack has been left open or like something has fallen on the ground for me and like people are like, hey, like, you know, this has happened, like, you know, close your backpack. Hey, you dropped this, like things like that. So that's why, um, I don't know, I don't know why New York is that right. But anyways, um, so yeah, I don't know, like that's kind of has been the process for me. Um, I have, I'm not signed to an agency right now. Um, it's a little bit difficult just because New York is still a little bit old school. Um, you know, they still want like a little bit like, you know, tall and like super thin, but, um, but I mean like the, obviously like things are changing still, but, um, I haven't found an agency that like wants to work with me yet. So I'm um, just finding everything on my own, um, which can be a little bit difficult, but, um, I'm, I don't know, I'm grateful for like the whole process, honestly. And like, I'm been working really hard at it. So That's that has been happens for me. <laughs> What's been your favorite shoot that you've been on? Oof, that's hard. Um, my favorite shoot, I would probably have to say was, um, I'm going to say it was like a music video shoot, which I know is a little bit different, but I really love doing music videos just because there's, there was this whole creative process to it. Um, it was with this Canadian rapper, his name is Benny Main, and it was actually shot in Boston. I was living, um, I was already living in New York, but um, I went back to Boston for it. And it was just this whole like process, and I, it was actually with um, somebody I knew, and then I met his friends as well who were part of the crew of making the music video. And it was three days long, and it was probably the best three days that I had doing like a shoot. Um, like everybody was great and we were getting along really well. And then we even went to a club to do a shoot. And then we ended up staying out like till three, four in the morning, um, just like dancing and then like getting food after. And it was, I don't know, it was really great. Like just having that, like having like the connection with like a crew like that is something that makes a shoot even better. Cause I've been on shoots where sometimes, I don't want to say that they're mean, but they don't, necessarily make you feel kind of like welcome so it kind of like definitely you know affects like how you, you know perform during a shoot hmm. what's been the craziest modeling experience that you've had so far craziest modeling experience um definitely doing new york fashion week um i never expected it to happen um I was still living in Connecticut with my parents at the time, and I went to audition. I went all the way, like a three-hour bus ride to New York to audition, and they said that they were looking for models, like, of all heights, So I was, and this was, like, a legit New York Fashion Week show, so I was like, I have to go. Like, why not? So they never mentioned that they were also looking for models who could dance. And I can dance, but when, you know, like when I'm at the club, like I'm not put on the spot. <laughs> so there were actual dancers there at the audition. And 
suddenly they started playing this like EDM, like really like trance type of music. And I'm like, oh my God, like how do I do this? Because they also like, they set up like kind of like a fake runway. So while we're walking down the runway, we also had to dance. So I was just like, I don't know how to do this. And it happened, everything happened so fast. There were so many people, but it all happened so fast. Like I would say I was there for like a maximum of like 10 minutes. And I was awful. Like I felt like I was awful just because I'm like, how do I dance and then like model and then like also walk down this like, you know, imaginary <laughs> runway. So that happened and then they, there were these people there and they were like calling out like people by numbers. I obviously didn't get it. So then like, you know, after that, I just went home. And then suddenly, um, I think it was like a week later or two weeks later, I get a call saying, um, from them saying that they wanted me to part, be part of the actual like New York Fashion Week runway for this um, designer who's from China. And I was literally, I was at, I was in the kitchen with my mom and I remember that because I'm like, mom, mom, like I'm freaking out. I'm like, mom, they want me to be part of the runway. And, like we were just like so happy. And then, um, yeah, so it was for this um, Asian designer. He, his name is Chi Zhang. And we did the runway at the Intrepid uh, Ski Museum. Cool. And, yeah, and it was amazing. Um, like Marie Claire was there, I think. Uh, Seventeen Magazine was there. Fabulous, the rapper was there. So that was like really exciting, and just the whole setup of everything. It was just incredible, and I don't know. It was just it was just crazy to me because I like I went from like doing this thing that I was didn't think I was gonna be a part of, and then I finally actually did New York Fashion Week runway, and that just like it was just bizarre and like the whole setup of it, and I've never been any. Part of like something so big like that wow so it's amazing and it, like really just bizarre <laughs> that's so cool yeah what was, your, what was your last job let us know what that what that modeling gig was My last one before quarantine struck <laughs> i know i'm trying to think of it because honestly all of the days have blended in together <laughs> yeah <laughs> um oh my god i don't remember um I think it was for, yeah, oh yeah, so I'm sorry, I have to think for a second. I, yeah, so I did, I actually just got signed to a hand modeling agency, and amazing for American Express, it was, um, it was literally just like me like flipping through this, um, like this sticky notepad, um, it was actually very difficult, which was kind of annoying. <laughs> just like doing that shoot because I was there for like a couple hours just like trying to like you know skim through this like no um sticky notepad thing and um yeah that was actually the last one I did it was just for like hand modeling shoot for American Express so I think that was my last one. yeah <laughs> that's so cool <laughs> yeah um and can you talk about I know like our jubilance uh time was a million years ago now but um <laughs> talk about being on that video shoot and what that was like for you it was really good um I really enjoyed it just because I feel like I don't get enough time to kind of just talk about like something that personal to me and you know because I'm just kind of like you know trying to be all glam and whatnot so like I was really glad that I was asked to be part of this uh Jubilance video shoot and being able to express like, you know, this is how it is for me and I'm sure millions of other women. Yeah. Yeah, so many other women and you know, like I'm not alone and you're not alone. And I don't know, and just like the crew, they were really great. They were just letting me talk. So I really love that because I can talk about like my experience of like, you know, how it is for me when I'm, you know, on my period. Thank you. Um, and something that we always ask on this podcast is, what is your definition for being a woman today? And I know it can like shift it within the next yeah. like, 30 seconds or something, but um, what is it right now? For me, I think, I think what it is, is just kind of looking at yourself but also looking at other women too for inspiration because for me I look up honestly to so many women and not even just like you know like big celebrities but like 
my friends like I have so many friends that and even just like people that I also follow as well like small uh, women artists who are so creative and I think for me that's kind of like what's being like that's what defines being a woman like being able to look at yourself and look at other women and find inspiration mm, that's wonderful yeah do you have um recommendations of who we should be following or looking at who's in your network um, that we should that we should know about there's um actually a couple of people. I wish I could look at my phone. Um, there's this uh, makeup artist. She does really interesting makeup. Um, and it's just very different. Um, her, her name's like Thirsty like Brown, I think. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yes, I just like threw that at you. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Um, and then there's this, there's also another girl because um, I also used to be um, a Playboy bunny at um, Playboy. Uh, club in New York it's a rest it was a restaurant until it closed okay. um there's another girl I actually never met her but um I found out that she was also a bunny there as well before I got there um her name's like Lauren Chin I believe mm. and um she just has like she I think she has like her own like lingerie line and all that stuff oh, cool. so I really I don't know I really enjoyed just like seeing other women who are like super creative and even it's actually a kind of like this whole quarantine has actually caused me to be a little bit more creative as well. Yeah. Wait, but also tell me about being a Playboy bunny. Was that amazing? No, I loved it. I really, really love working there. And we had um, our own dressing room. Okay. Small, but we had our own dressing room. And honestly, the girls there were amazing. Like we all got along so well. And it was kind of like we formed our own sisterhood. And, um, after, even after it closed and even during, like we put it together, like our own little get togethers, just like, you know, we even had like our own shirts that we made just so like, you know, if we all get together, like people will know like, oh my God, these are all Playboy bunnies. And we, oh yeah. Also another thing that we did, um, like obviously this quarantine has like caused like challenges and things like that. So we did a no rush challenge. So we did like the before, like, you know, how we're just chilling at home during quarantine oh, and cool. then after like you know all glammed up and stuff like that so we all put together like our own video and um yeah we just like posted on social media just for fun oh that's so fun is that on your instagram i'll have to look at it Check um it was on my instagram i could post it back on um a bunch of other girls have done it too so oh, that's amazing. It's definitely out there. oh very cool yeah um, and if you had one piece of advice to give a woman that you just like ran into on the street what would it be about really anything Ooh, um, I would say do whatever you want and live your life because honestly, and I still have to, I still have to live by that advice because I sometimes find myself not doing that, but you, like, you really have to do whatever you want. As long as you're not hurting anybody, just like do follow your dream like just do it like don't wait for it don't think like oh like I'll do it tomorrow or like you know like I'll you know I'll get to it eventually like just do it and follow your dream and honestly don't listen to what other people have to say because if it's going to make you happy then honestly that's all that matters that's amazing and it sounds like exactly like what you're doing just pursuing your dreams here in New York yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit difficult, and sometimes my mom's kind of like, you know, are you going to ever go back to school? And I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know, yeah, like, let me figure this out first, mom. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on. Do you have anything else you want to add to our listeners? Um, I just really hope that everybody is getting through this quarantine fine. Um, I know that there's a lot of it, um, a lot of difficulties right now and, you know, just keep sane and I don't know, stay creative if you have that flow in you. And I don't know, maybe if you don't just keep watching Netflix, I don't know, and ordering takeout. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for being on, Jacqueline. Oh, it's so nice to see you. For having me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Stay safe. Nice meeting you.